Hello everybody and uh, yes I haven't done a tutorial video in a long while but a lot of people have asked me over <laughs> the whole time I've had, they've known I've had a server they've asked, people have asked so many times how do I set up a server, please can you do a video on how to set up a server, a Minecraft server and I'm sorry I haven't done one, I just, uh, it's just a lot to um, do and but I'm going to try and cover everything in this video I'm not going to do anything using Hamachi this is a sort of this is like if you if you're if you're having problems a lot of people get hamachi and it's a lot easier to do it that way but um i'm going to try cover everything very simply so first thing is to get a static ip uh, this is so the ports that you're going to forward don't worry about don't worry about these terms but this is so when you port forward it doesn't you don't uh, like you stay on the ip that the ports are forwarded to so you can put that server on your computer, on that computer that you're wanting. So, don't you want to have one computer that you're running the server on, and we're going to get that static IP on that computer. So, uh, we're going to go to where is it? <laughs> Networking and sharing center somewhere. I've lost it. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there it is network and sharing center. <laughs> Sorry, and then you go to change adapter settings, and then you go to local area connection, connection uh, or wireless. If you're connected wirelessly, uh, ignore this Hamachi thing. That's just again to do with Hamachi, and that's uh, we've been using Hamachi for Terraria. But anyway, <laughs> that's another game. Uh, local area connection. So if you're connected by wire, you you'll have a local area connect connection here. If you're connected wirelessly, you'll have wirelessly. So right click on that and then click properties. So this is the like, router I'm connected to. Then you want to go to inter internet protocol version 4. Ignore this version 6 but version 4 and then click properties. Then your yours is probably clicked on this the use bullet point obtain IP address automatically and obtain DNS server address automatically but you want to uh, click on use the following IP address and use the following DNS server addresses. So um, you want to click on that one and then you want to go to start and find a and search and go on a search program on Windows 7 and Vista you can you've got a start search search for CMD and then you click CMD here and here you want to click you want to type in IP config and then you scroll to the top and look for in fact let's do that again CMD and IP config space forward slash all and then you scroll to the top and you find the what your like I'm connected to local area connection this is that means just by wire if you're connected to wirelessly you just find wirelessly um, just find wireless and you want to look for IP4, IPv4 address so that says uh, whatever that is just type in it'll be something like this but it Ignore the last digit. Ignore the last two uh, two things or last things after the bullet points. Just go for the first three. First three bullet points. So 192.168.0, and then so I type that in 192.168.0, and then at the end here, this is like your. So that will be these three digits. These three bullet things at the start. Um, connect all your computers on the same connection. So the last one is the one you want to change. Now. I would change it to a higher digit than it already is, so change it to I put 12. Uh, unless if you have tons of computers connecting to the same router, put it a higher number because someone else might take that um, specific IP address. So I put it to 12, and then you want subnet mask. When you click in this box, it'll probably automatically put it in, but if it doesn't, it is here somewhere. There it is. I Subnet mask is under it 255.255.255.0. Uh, then default gateway, it will be on here as well. Default gateway 192.168.0.1. So put that in. Then use the following DNS server addresses. You might have two, and I just have one. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It will say DNS servers, so put all those in. If you have two, put two in. Then you click OK. Mine is just the same, so I just like to click cancel. cancel. Um, so now you have a uh, static IP address, so your IP, your local IP won't change. That's a good thing. So now you want to port forward ports on your router. 
Uh, if you're connected to through two routers, I'm that's just too complicated, and I don't get that. My friend tried to do it, and you just it's just too weird. It's like called like dual port forwarding. So if you if you're connected through two routers, this will won't work. You'll have to look that up, and I, I don't know how to do that. But anyway, so go to simpleportforwarding.com. This will be your uh, this will be in the description, this link, and this is to help you p f port for uh, forward ports. <laughs> and you want to click, so you want to click this little download thing on the left, and then click on any of these. I'll just click the direct download, and you will get a set of files. So go into the set of files. So mine's on my desktop, and then open the application called SPF, and it'll have a little icon there. So open it, and then this will help you to forward ports. So you want to. I'm just going to delete this. Move. Okay, so you have a, a checklist here. This is very useful. Update router list. So click up, up, update router list. This will just make sure that you're not out of date. Then select your router and login info. So I'll click do it now. And then um, you scroll down to your. If you look on the back of your router, you'll find. So mine is a Netgear. So we're going to add to N. I meant Netgear. And then mine is DG834PN. So find DG834. Three four PN. There we go. So this one. Let's just double check. DG eight three four PN. Yep. So I double click on this, and then it will select that, and then put all the. It should put all the username info and stuff like that. And now, see, it says set your local IP to static IP. I've done that for you. Now, choose which port you need to forward. So click on the fourth one, and then click add custom. Name, so whatever you want to call it, I'll just call it Minecraft Serve One. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it is. Then TCP, that's UDP. Uh, well, yep. Oh, okay. Um, then CCP, that's UDP. Start ports. Now this wants to be. <coughs> this wants to be two five five six five. That did two five five six five. I'll say that again. And the end port two five five six five because it's only one port. And then IP address. This is see that'll be a static one. You can refresh that just to make sure it's got the right one. So pull that information and click add. And then that's it. And then you can click update the router and click do it now. And then what that will do is just sort of open a little browser. Um, I'm not going to do it because I don't really want to get a load of stuff. So. Um, you click update the router and it will update everything and then you click add and then this add ports file will uh, unfortunately that's only available in pro version so I will show you how to do this this uh, and then you can after we're done with that we can test it but you want to go to control panel and then you want to go what we're we doing I have a file control panel oops this is all different layout so we've got control panel then where is it windows firewall and mine, my settings for these ports are actually done in my security stuff uh, things. So you want to go to if you don't have a, if it's not just see just see it is so you can see it says here, these settings are being managed by vendor application Mac view personal firewall. But you want to go to advanced settings, then go to inbound rules, click new rule, click port, next, and then you want to do one for each of these TCP and UDP. Click a specific local ports two five five six five as before. Next, allow the connection. Next, and all these ticked. Next, name, uh, whatever you want to call it. Save one description. Then click finish. I might as well add it. So down here you'll see it will be added. Um, what am I doing? Um, um, MC. See, I've already got these. MC, uh, oh God, it matter. <laughs> MC seven, you can see it here, and um, so that will be. I'm just going to leave that. So just leave it. Um, just, just leave it. Oops. Okay, just leave it there, and then click new rule again, and port next. UDP this time, so the different one, because you want it to be both. And then 25565 in here on specific local ports. Next, allow the connection. 
next all these ticks next name so MC serve to whatever you want to be whatever you want to call it and then it will be added Ooh, there we go MC serve to I'm just going to delete it because I've already got these two here doing the same thing um, so I have that there even though McAfee does it as well McAfee is my security thing um, because if you go in here you can click on firewall and settings and then go to ports and system server. If you have a firewall, if you have a security system that's um, managing your firewall, just try and find the firewall settings, click on something to do with ports and it's basically the same thing and just click add. You know, this is sort of the similar, you can add a name. Basically the port is 25565 and you want to add a TCP and UDP one. Uh, for 25565 so I would put 25565 in both of these and then PCs in work and actually open ports to yeah the first one PCs in work and home networks only uh, and then yeah just just click save so just um, if you have a system that does that for you try and find something to do with ports and add 25565 to UDP and uh, TCP now so we've added ports to Windows Firewall. Now we can test that the ports do now work. And we click uh, Begin. And it will automatically do the ones that you already have. And you see it says Success, which is a good thing. And that means that it is open. So you can go and do get the server software, which I will show you how to now. Go to Mine. You can get uh, other, sets, uh, other softwares, other server softwares, but this is a basic one, Minecraft dot net forward slash download dot jsp so it will go to this one and you can scroll down multiply bit of server software and find if you're on windows obviously get this one if you're on linux and mac just follow these instructions but you want to get this uh... yeah follow the instruction down there if you're on mac or linux but get uh... this one i'm just getting this one because i am on <laughs> I am on thingamajig, I am on Windows and this is for at the moment this is for 1.6.6 .6, but if I update the title that means it will still work with this method so don't worry if this uh, if this is a later version of Minecraft you're running at the moment but just get the same software and all will be well now so you've got the Minecraft server software it will call Minecraft server I'll click a new file on the desktop and rename it whatever you want. MC serve 1.6.6. 6. Okay, and then you want to drag this server software into the file, and this will be your server file. Now go into this, and you want to run this application. So double click it, and click run. So it will do all this stuff. I want to just wait for it to complete, just seeing what time we're on 30 minutes, that's okay. So allow this to finish and it will it will be slow at first and it won't be like this every time this is just getting all the files uh, like made you can see all the files starting to be made in the background so <coughs> slowly but surely we are getting there and um, yeah <laughs> so just while we have this time I just want to say please uh, if this if this works for you at the end please definitely like it or if you just thought this was helpful please like it if you um, have any problems comment if you thought this was helpful please comment please just comment whatever just comment is there f to comment about my video you know say what you thought and then when this is done you click in this little box down here and type stop this is how you, this is also how you will stop the server at any time and then click enter so it will stop it and you just wait for it while it saves the chunks and it will close automatically so then you want to find this properties file the server it will be called server and it will be a properties file make sure it's not the text document go to the properties file and if it's I can double click it and it will open with notepad but if it doesn't you can right click on it open with dot 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 and then find notepad so it will mine automatically opens with notepad and then when you've done that and clicked OK you can double click on it anyway and then we, I'm just going to make the font smaller. Oh, wait, it's, it's small anyway, what am I doing?
but that's, oh yeah, there you go. It's fine. So you can change all the settings in here. You can make a new world by changing the name here. Uh, you can put a world file in here uh, and then change the level name to what the actual name of the file is in here. And it is case sensitive, so you do need to change to capitals if there are any capitals in there. So I'm just going to change this to down to 5. Server IP, leave that. Okay, leave the server IP. Uh, level C, you can change all the stuff in here. You can see the port is, is that 25565. If it's not 25565, change it to 25565. View distances, all stuff here, don't need to worry about it. But uh, you can click save. And anytime you want to run the server, it will run like that. Um, if you are, this is quite important now, if you're wanting to join the server, you're, if you're wanting to join the server from the computer you're on, uh, or um, click, type in, go into Minecraft and type in on multiplayer local host all one word. I'll show you how that's how that looks. So we would go on. See if you, if you're on the server. And let it load. Oh, oh, there we go. It's fast. Okay, you can see how fast that was. Um, go to local. Oops, local host, and then we click enter. It will join my server. Okay, this is how you do it from the actual. Um, so I'll just turn that down if that's a bit loud. This is how you do it from the computer you're running the server on. If you are running, uh, if you want to join from anywhere that's connect from anyone that's connected to the same router, so anyone in your house, um, they want to join with. I think it's two five uh, one nine two point one six eight point. I think it's one of the local IPs. Just try if you go on CMD again, type in. Uh, type in IP config space all space four slash all. Go to the top. Uh, you see where it says IP v four address. Uh, type that in. Uh, have your person on the different computer in the same house. Type that in. If that doesn't work, try the default gateway, and then uh, they, that's how they join. And if anyone who anyone else join over the inter internet. This is how uh, if they want to join, type in C um C my IP. I'll type that in notepad because I don't want anyone to see my IP. <laughs> but click in notepad and then click and go to this web page, C my IP dot com. I think that's what it is. But I'll post a link to the IP checking thing. Um and the thing I have is called no IP. What no IP does is if we open it, oh you'll see my IP anyway, it doesn't matter. But if we open it, you can see that what it does is it um well what I know IP does, and you can go to no IP, uh, I think it's no IP com. If you go here and you set up an account and you make like a like a uh if you make a host, uh people can connect with like words. So mine is gritte.sites.net and you can you can like There'll probably be a video on no IP, so you can. I use that, but um, you can just use if you go to the, I'll call it the IP finding website. I'll call that in the description. IP finding website, and um, what that will do is tell you your IP, and that uh, is what other people from who is not connected to your router, so your friend who lives in a different house, uh, he will connect to your server via that IP again and take for bear in mind that the server has to be running but the IP that you f see on the f IP finding software IP address finding software software website the IP that it tells you on the website of the IP finding website is the one the IP that people will join so for example um, I'll just do it I think see my IP. Okay, it tells me that, and other people will join with that. Okay, so other people will copy that, and you can tell your friends that. But to make mine uh, easier, I get this thing called No IP. There are different softwares out there that do the same thing, but I think I'm going to wrap it up there, and I think I've basically covered everything that you need to know. This was a longish video for a tutorial, but setting up a server is uh, fairly long -winded, a fairly long-winded process so it needs to be this long and I don't want anyone to slip up so 
thank you for watching. Please, uh, I hope this works for you. If it doesn't, please leave me a comment and I will sort it out for you. If you enjoyed this and it is helpful and it did work, or anything, <laughs> anyone, anyone watching, just please tell me what you thought in the comments. It really is nice and I do appreciate it. And I do reply to nearly all comments and, um, as long as they're not stupid, obviously, but also please like and uh, if you want to see more of these videos, not necessarily tutorial videos, I usually do just entertaining videos with my friends or just me on different games like Minecraft, Terraria, and StarCraft. Um, subscribe and if you want to see more, definitely subscribe. Uh, and this has been Gritty. I don't like saying that, it's very, it's really cringy. But I'm going to see you next time. And I hope you enjoyed everything. Bye-bye.